Hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here from DCRadioNetwork.com. Welcome to this quick tutorial series on how to build an API using the SLIM framework. Now let me tell you something about SLIM, you know. It's slim, it's fast, it's lean, it's mean and it's ready to rock and roll. Actually, I have a nickname for SLIM. I call it the Little Bastard Framework because this framework is currently teaming up with other technologies like Angular and so on and basically doing in all of the other bigger frameworks, you know? And everywhere there are developers who are saying, well, hang on, maybe we don't need those big giant frameworks. Maybe we can just use something like Slim. So that's the vibe. Welcome. You are so welcome. Um, anyway, let's get started. Let's rock and roll. Now, I am on a Mac and I'm using XAMPP. Can you handle that? Now, I know that XAMPP's kind of old-fashioned these days, right? But I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. I'm going to use XAMPP. Maybe you're using something else. But in any event, I'm going to head on into htdocs and create a brand new folder. And let's call this one My Slim Site. Okay, My Slim Site. And here we go. Next. I have the terminal open here and I'm going to navigate into that folder, right? Now let me show you a little uh, trick, you Mac users. I'm not sure if this works on a PC, but you can try it. Um, you know how when you're typing in, I always found this a complete pain in the neck, right? I can, I can never remember the paths. Somebody told me use the tab and it's kind of nice, but it's no great, you know? So let me show you the Jedi way of uh, navigating into a folder with the terminal. Just do CD, right? And then you get the folder that you want to go to, which in this case is my slim site, and you just drag that son of a gun across like that, and look, the full path's right there. So there you go, we're now inside this folder. Isn't that fantastic, Ola? We've only been talking a minute, you know, and already the top tips are flowing. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Okay, so uh, let's get this thing going. So we're on the slim side. Now, we do have a few stages. Yes, there shall be confusion. Yes, there shall be moments when you're looking at the code and you're saying, man, what's going on? But just relax. Hang tough with me. I'll get you set up before you know it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get a hold of this highly controversial thing called Composer, which isn't really controversial at all. I just thought I'd say that. So we're going to head over to Composer, and I'm going to download Composer straight into this folder here, okay? That's the vibe. So uh, we click download, and we have some code here. I'm going to grab this code here, and... I'll drag these together so you can see what's happening, okay? I'm just going to uh, paste that in and look at this. Okay, it's bringing in the latest version of Composer. It's fantastic. A more exciting vibe you will never see in the land of PHP. So there we are, Composer ready to rock. It's all happening, it's all happening. We can do LS and we can see that we've got this Composer.far thing here. It's uh, highly cool and highly exciting. So the next stage is we head away from the Composer website. Yeah, bye, thank you. And uh, we head on to the Slim user guide. Now I just thought of something, time out. There are some developers, lots of developers actually, who like to um, install Composer site-wide, you know, you can do that. Ha not site-wide, sorry, computer-wide, you know, so that this Composer thing works anywhere. You can do that if you want, but me, I'm a crazy rock and roller. I'm just installing it straight into the folder, but you do have that choice, okay? Beyond the scope of the course, beyond the scope of the course. Isn't it fantastic how when people don't really know what they're doing, they say it's beyond the scope of the course. <laughs> it's beyond the scope, man. Right, so the next stage is we're in the user guide. We are now going to install the latest version of Slim. So do you see this uh, stuff we've got here? We do not want the first section. I repeat, we do not want the first section. We want this bit here 
this bit. Oh gee, I can't even click properly. We want this bit, okay? So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to head back into the terminal. Now we are still in the folder, folks. We're still inside that folder, but I'm going to write, um, let me just tidy this up. I'm going to write composer, uh, I'm sorry, wake up, php composer.far, and then we're going to paste in the cool stuff, okay? And hit return, and we can ignore that. And that's us. Okay, so it's now installing the latest version of Slim. I happen to be on version 3. But you know something that's cool about this stuff? Um, with these micro frameworks, even when they release new versions, man, they, you know, it's, it's not a deal breaker. It's not like you have to rewrite the whole rule book. So even if you're not on the exact same version as me, it's probably going to be okay. Um, and there we have it. We now have the uh, new version of Slim inside the folder and everything is cool. However, don't crack open the champagne just yet because if we go to localhost my Slim site, as you can see, there ain't much happening. There's not much happening at all actually. So we need to do some other things, you know. Um, and I think I'll leave that till the next video. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.